some folks are very fortunate. They've lived their life doing exactly what they've wanted to do, even making a living playing a boys game. Like our next guest, Tom Reynolds, spent 41 years in baseball. So what do you do with 40, with four decades of baseballs? You make some art. We do. It's an interesting uh, uh, <laughs> uh, transition, right? <laughs> it is. You know, it was really just a, a way for me to honor the legends of the game mm -hmm. and kind of keep their names at the forefront of, of today. And it's a, it's a lot of fun because it allows me to keep my hands busy, mm -hmm. work with baseballs, honor the legends, stay active in baseball. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what? It's kind of turned out to be kind of a neat, neat art project. Yeah, so for folks, we got to bring everybody up to speed. Uh, obviously, we, we know you very well for um, Toledo Mud Hens, right? But uh, um, you most recently spent some time with the Rockies, right? Right, okay. um, 41 years of baseball, professional baseball. Mm -hmm. um, met Chris and <laughs> when I was managing the Mud Hens here in Toledo and the last 13 years I spent as the bench coach mm -hmm. with the Colorado Rockies. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, 11 years with the Tigers as well. So a lot of connections, mm -hmm. but uh, just a wonderful life. Been very, very blessed mm -hmm. and now I get to continue. <laughs> and played the game as well, right? Obviously you yes. love the game. <laughs> I, I, I did. I was fortunate enough to make it to the major leagues mm -hmm. with the Cincinnati Reds. Mm -hmm. Uh, at a really nice time when Pete Rose was chasing mm. a record, so it's been a it's been a very blessed life. So now you've got baseballs, <laughs> yes, and uh, we've got some. We're showing some some photos, but if we can uh, show some of your artwork here, uh, those are baseballs. They are. Um, I've taken old major league balls. I use some minor league baseballs, but I, I take the balls apart, um, cut them up, and make the numbers of the players. Um, it's in collaboration with a, a very talented young man, Jeff Stone, a, a graphic artist out of Colorado, and I'll tell him to draw a certain picture mm -hmm. or portrait of one of the players of the legends. He sends them to me, and then I put out the numbers. And in certain cases, when they didn't have numbers, I'll use their uh, team logo or whatever to to show them. What made you, I guess what gave you the idea for this? You know, I actually stole the idea. <laughs> um, I did see that a, another a company out of um, the West Coast was mm -hmm. doing this with some numbers and I thought it'd be even cooler if I could incorporate mm -hmm. the pictures of the players as yeah, well. So right. that's kind of gave me the idea and it's been a lot of fun. and. Now I get an opportunity this Friday to show it at the art uh, gallery at uh, Fuller Art House in Sylvania. Right downtown there, really great uh, studio. So you're going to, these are, they're gonna be shown and people can buy them and uh, you're giving back with this. We are, you know, one, it's just gonna be a great night. Danny Fuller does a great job there <laughs> at, the, at the gallery, but it's gonna be a fun night and all the proceeds or a, a good portion of the proceeds are gonna go to the Police Athletic League. So um, <laughs> we're excited, it's gonna be a fun time. So kind of keeping that sports theme going a little absolutely, bit Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Anything that we can do to give back to the community and keep kids involved in baseball, mm. that's that's a good thing. Do you have a favorite piece, one that maybe you spent a lot of time on or one that oh, means a lot boy. to you? You know what, I do like a lot of them. I do like the Moses Fleetwood Walker that we yeah. have here in the studio because it doesn't have numbers. It has just the team yeah. logo, the uh, Toledo Blue Stockings logo. Um, you know, I really don't. I just love them all. <laughs> I really do. I love them all. How many pieces do you have? I'm going to show 21 pieces. Okay. Yeah. And it's just something you're working on all the time, too? You know, it keeps me busy <laughs> at night, gives me an opportunity, but, you know, it also allows me to follow the players and, and look up the history of the players and a little bit mm. about them. So it, it's a lot of fun for myself as well, being a baseball enthusiast. There's still something to learn there, huh? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Always. Very cool. So this is the big opening night here is Friday, right? What yes. time does everything get started? 5.30. 5.30. Yeah, okay, 5 30 until to 8. 8 o'clock, you come out, have a good time, and uh, maybe help out with, uh, with what the Police Athletic League is doing for you. Absolutely. Young people. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, the work is beautiful. It Thank looks you. great. Thank so, you. congratulations. And hopefully, you get a nice big crowd out there on Friday. Yep. Hope so. Thanks for coming in today. We you appreciate bet. it. Good to see you. Well, thank you for making Toledo's only live local 9 a.m. show part of this Monday morning. We'll be right back.